Back in 92, I was drafted number two overall and uh, going all the way up to, to Brisbane to start my AFL career. We'd spent five years with, with Brisbane, played in a couple of finals, which was amazing. It was in, an interesting trade with uh, Brad Scott and uh, John Barker, you know, one of the old stories, didn't get along with the coach and uh, found myself out of work three years later at you know, 25 years of age. And that sort of sparked what am I going to do next? A little benign to the teams is I would practice kicking a torpedo in the theory that one day I'll go across to America. I've got this film here that I'd put together and a friend of mine, Justin Lepich, rang me and said, oh, I know you're trying to do this punting. Did you know that Schwabby was on and he was talking about the Packers? Timing just sort of worked and they said, hey, we'd love to take a look at you. A hundred kicks later, I was sitting up in a boardroom signing documents saying that I was going to be a Packer. So it was like literally overnight. I look back and as much as I loved the AFL and, and playing it, the eight months that I had there was as exciting as eight years in the AFL. There was a case of there's got to be a way for someone to help anyone else who wants to do it. Set up uh, Pro Kick Australia and, and sort of went from there. For the 50 guys that we've got in America, some of these guys are playing in front of 110,000 people each week. Our main one that we put across was Chris Bryan. We got him signed at Green Bay and we've got Paul Bowles who was at Carlton. We worked with Cameron Johnson who was on Melbourne's list for a couple of years. Didn't get given his opportunity in the AFL ranks. That's the eye of this national championship win. You know, he's got some amazing trophies and rings, bowl rings that they win, and a memory that he'll cherish forever. Not everyone gets to play 300 games, and not everyone gets to have their fairy tale ending, but to see the smile on their faces, and when it's come from a lot of the time disappointment from now not being able to, to pursue AFL, it's really rewarding in that sense.